Welcome back to Straight Facts by Denard Investor. Real reforms maximize revenue and contribute to its multiplicity. Sunday, December 1, 2019. Baghdad Hussein Thagb, Farol, Kafaf. One of the reform steps the government is embarking on in response to popular demands is to correct the country's fiscal policy. Financial expert Thamer Alazawid believes that the financial policy followed by the competent authorities such as the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank has succeeded during the past period compared to the conditions experienced by the country, especially with regard to the preservation of the value of the Iraqi dinar and the financial stock, which has increased, despite recent events. However, he stressed to al Sabah the need to correct or update this policy in line with the requirements, in terms of diversifying and maximizing revenues, operating the accumulated funds and banks, and the introduction of the private sector as a key partner for the advancement of the economy, to reach common points to start in the real implementation. The Finance Committee hosted the Governor of the Central Bank and the Director General of the Tax Authority to discuss the issue of maximizing non-oil revenues and assessing the monetary and economic policy of the country. Maximizing Revenue The Chairman of the Finance Committee, Haytham al Jubari, according to a press statement, supporting the Iraqi economic reality and moving it through the correction of financial policy and rectification. Real reforms. To that member of the Baghdad Economic Forum Jassim al Aridi, the need to work to have real reforms that move the change of the reality of the national economy and move it to a better stage, and this is not complicated. But we can see the fruits of reforms within a short period, because of the elements of success that are unique to Iraq, however, we need good governance to achieve a smooth implementation of the work in its form. Legal expert explains what after Parliament accepted the resignation of Abdul Mahdi December 1, 2019. Baghdad, Euphrates News, the legal expert, Faris Kazali, the procedures entrusted to the presidency of the House of Representatives after accepting the resignation of Abdul Mahdi. Al Kazali said, for Euphrates News, that the decision of the House of Representatives for the approval of the resignation of Prime Minister Abdel Mahdi, a parliamentary decision, noting that there are constitutional and legal objections to the mechanism of resignation, considering that the rules of procedure of the Council of Ministers, specifically Article 18, of it stated that the minister submit his resignation to the President of the Republic as he issued the presidential decree ordering him to form a government. He added that the request was submitted to the House of Representatives and the last ratified by a majority of voters. And therefore we are in front of a parliamentary decision made the government of Mahdi government caretaker daily business for the necessary things only. al Kazali said, we are now before 15, days when the presidency of the parliament is committed in particular to provide an alternative to Abdul Mahdi to the president of the republic, who is the candidate of the largest parliamentary bloc, chief among them are the elections and the electoral commission. He pointed out that we are before the ratification of the resignation of the prime minister and are in charge of nominating a new person to form a new government, noting that the problem now is that the largest bloc given by the constitution the right to nominate waive this right. Report this ad. He said casually, saying, the Iraqi constitution confirmed that within 15 days of regulatory timings and not inevitable timings, which means that the period can be extended to another 15 days, even in the subject of 30 days assigned by the new prime minister to form his cabinet booth renews the term, but for another candidate, the first person has failed to form the cabinet. With regard to the election law, Kasali explained regarding the demands that the elections be individual and not through lists submitted by all parties' views are still under discussion noting that the individual system in which the positives that the vote of the Iraqi voter goes to the candidate and does not go to someone else, one of his disadvantages is that he wastes votes there. al Kazli concluded by saying that the most important thing that is expected to be included in the amended electoral law is the nomination for holders of bachelor's degree and above. Next week, vote on the election and commission December 1, 2019. Members of the House of Representatives set a date next week to vote on the election laws of the House of Representatives and the Independent High Electoral Commission. While noting that the odds are moving towards the adoption of the candidate with the highest votes to win a parliamentary seat, a member of the Committee of the Regions and Governorates of the Irregular Province of Ahmed Haidar to morning. It was read the two bills twice and there were a lot of views expressed by members of the regional and legal committees on the two projects. He added that the members of the House of Representatives are seeking to approve these two important laws during the next phase. But at the same time they do not want to rush to pass because they do not want to pass hastily to be a lot of false observations on how to hold the next elections and determine the winners. Indicating that the two bills they need more opinions and extensive discussions from experts and specialists in this regard. He expected voting on these two laws next week. Explaining that the electoral law proposal sent from the government to the House of Representatives provided for the distribution of 50% of the seats among those who win the highest votes and similar among party lists. 
While there are demands to adopt a multi-district system in the province but it clashes with logistics, delays in drafting the law and delaying elections, as well as the boundaries of the districts are not yet known. He continued that the majority of members stand with the adoption of the highest votes in the province to win seats in the House of Representatives. Noting that this is resolved in consultation between the political blocs to be the final decision in favor of the people and independent and small blocs, otherwise the street will not accept any detour or manipulation of words or laws, which obliges politicians out of a law that meets the aspirations of the people and reference. In turn, member of the legal committee Salim Hamza Shushki that the commission continues discussions on the draft laws of the House of Representatives and the Electoral Commission until a positive outcome. In an interview with Al Sabah, Shushki said that the legal committee and its joint committees in these two laws are trying to ripen them in order to reach an appropriate formula and then send them to the presidency for inclusion in the agenda. He pointed out that the discussions can continue for the next two weeks in preparation for a vote, noting that the competent committees have not yet entered into the details of the two laws. While MP Rabid Marouf pointed out that 15 Kurdish deputies are in the process of discussing these laws to reach an appropriate formula can be applied in Iraq in general and the region in particular. Marouf said, Morning, that these deputies are working outside the framework of the two main parties in the region to reach a vision on the laws of elections and the commission.